Next comes the roof. As always, safety is the most important thing. So wear masks and proper attire when installing fiberglass and follow approved procedures for working off the ground. Start by laying out the roof sheets and pre-drill for the stitch screws, but do not drill holes for the structural screws. Lay out and cut the insulation. Attach double-sided tape to the inside half of the top of the eave strut, leaving room on the outside half to place a closure strip. Stretch out a section of insulation, facing the tab in the direction you are sheeting, pulling it as tight as you can from side to side, and attaching it to the eave strut with the double-sided tape. As you did with the walls, cut off any excess fiberglass on the top of the eave and fold the vinyl facing back over the fiberglass. Install one run of insulation at a time, covering it with roof sheets as you go to keep wind from pulling up the insulation. You will seal each sheet with a closure strip, which will create a watertight barrier if properly installed. Use the mastic sealer tape to attach the bottom of the closure strip to the eave strut just outside the double-sided tape that holds the insulation. Run mastic sealer along the top of the closure strip so you can attach the roof sheet to it, but do not remove the protective paper strip from the mastic until you are ready to install the next sheet. As you seal roof sheets, do not allow insulation to be caught between them and the closure strip. To properly align the ridge cap or vents, you must install the sheets in a specific order, placing a sheet on one side of the peak, followed by one on the other side of the peak, and then the section of ridge cap that goes between them. On wider buildings or when installing skylights, the roof sheets will be in more than one piece, so install the sheet at the eave first and work uphill. Refer to your drawings for the screw placements and the amount of overhang at the eave. As you proceed down the roof, staple the tabs of your fiberglass insulation together. If you're using a radiant barrier foil, it has an adhesive tab on one edge. Simply pull the paper backing off the tab and attach the next sheet to it. 